In the previous session, we have learnt about DNA, its structure, the nucleotides present in DNA. Today, we will speak about chromosome and nucleosome. What is this chromosome? Chromosome is DNA molecule with protein. This organization holds true for prokaryotes, eukaryotes and even for viruses. The functions of packaging DNA into chromosome. Chromosome package which is compact form of DNA is easily accommodated into the nucleus. Packaging of DNA ensures protection and prevents damage. Only DNA packaged into chromosome can be transmitted efficiently to both daughter cells when a cell divides. There is organization of DNA at various levels, confers its accessibility for the activities involved in the cells. Parts of a chromosome. Chromosome consists of a short arm, long arm and a centromere at the center. The short arm is known as a P arm and the long arm is known as Q arm. During this, the chromosome normally exists in the diploid form with the two sister chromatids attached to each other by the kinetochore. Types of chromosomes metacentric, submetacentric, acrocentric, and telocentric. This is based on the position of centromere. In metacentric, the centromere is located exactly at the center. In submetacentric, the centromere is located slightly away from the center towards the short arm. In acrocentric, the centromere is located far away from the center towards the short arm. While in the telocentric, the centromere is located at the tip while specifying no arms. So, you might have heard three terminologies, the nucleotides, nucleic acids and the nucleosomes. Sometimes they might be confusing. What is the difference between a nucleotide, nucleic acid and a nucleosome? Nucleotide is a composition which contains a pentose sugar linked to the nitrogenous base and a phosphate group. This basic structure of nucleotide can be of different types when different nitrogenous bases are substituted like the adenine, thymine, gonine and cytosine. In DNA, whereas Adenine, uracil, guanine, and cytosine in RNA. And sometimes this pentose sugar can be deoxyribose, as in case of DNA, and ribose in case of RNA. This monomeric unit in the polymer is known as nucleic acid. This can be ribonucleic acid, RNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA. The third terminology is nucleosome. So what is this nucleosome? Nucleosome is the compact form of DNA associated with a protein. It is the individual unit of this chromosome, which consists of the histone proteins, which has DNA wrapped around them. Nucleosome model. Nucleosome is the building block of chromosomes. The majority of DNA in the eukaryotic cells is packed in the nucleosome. As we have seen, amino acids as the building block of protein and nucleotide as the building block of nucleic acid 
The nucleosome is the basic unit of the chromosome. Like a single nucleosome repeats multiple times to form a large compact chromosome. Each nucleosome is composed of eight histone proteins and the DNA is wrapped around them. The DNA between each nucleosome is called linker DNA. By assembling the nucleosome, the DNA is compacted approximately to 10 folds. So you might be thinking, what is the need for compaction? If DNA is left around freely, it's about 2 meters. It's about uh, standing next to a human who is 6.6 .6 feet. Can our cell accommodate a DNA which is 6.6 .6 feet? Absolutely no. Because our cell is only in micrometers. To ensure accommodation of DNA into the cell, it is compacted to several times. At several levels of organizations. This compaction not only is, is facilitating its accommodation into the nucleus, also helps in many other functions which were listed earlier in the video. The DNA mostly associates with nucleosome and it wounds around the nucleosome by 1.65 times. The DNA which is associating with the histone is called the core DNA. So how do we know the use of this association? So where this DNA which is associating with the histone is not accessible and this forms the heterochromatin structure. If you observed there are a light and if you have observed there are light and dark regions in the chromosome. The darker regions are mostly made up of the DNA associated with the histone and these are not accessible for transcription or replication and they are called heterochromatin because they are darkly stained while the light while the light area is called the geochromatin which are not associated with the histone that tightly and are accessible for the cellular processes like transcription and replication heterochromatin Although they don't have a function in transcription or replication, they are known to play great role in gene regulation, which will be dealt in later videos. The histone proteins. These are the most abundant proteins associated with the eukaryotic DNA. There are five abundant histone subunits, that is H1, H2A, H2B, H3 and H4. The H2A, H2B, H3 and H4 are the core histones and they are found in two copies. So the H3 and H4 initially form heterodimers in two copies. Like two heterodimers of H3, H3 and H4 are found. These two come closer and join together. This attracts the assembly of H2A and H2B which are in monomeric units. These components together form the core histone molecule. The H1 do not bind this complex. It is found near the DNA that was left out during the DNA that was left out between two histomer units. This histone one subunit will bind to that unit and it is called linker histone since the DNA is called linker DNA. This has great functions in transcription and DNA replication as this free DNA is more susceptible to the process of transcription and replication. This histone one subunit helps in recruitment of various proteins that initiate transcription and it is called transcription start site 
as it recruits multiple proteins responsible like transcription factors and the activators enhancers all those proteins which are necessary for the process of transcription this image states the organization of nucleosome into chromosome the first image indicates the double helix model of dna which is associated with the histone subunits we have a uh, we have a popular analogy as the bead and string where histone actually resembles a bead structure and the dna is like a string which is wound around the histone which looks like bead and string even in microscope so this organization is repeated over many times to form a compact structure the sizes is given like the 2 nanometer becoming 11 nanometer when it is bound to the histone proteins and still more compaction to accommodate these histones of units with dna side by side adjacent to each other the next one being a section of chromosome forming like this histone subunit associating with the dna is called the nucleosome multiple nucleosomes associate in such a way that they form a part of chromosome like the bead and string bead and string subunits adjacent to each other this forming furthermore compaction to a larger length and ultimately resulting in the formation of the entire mitotic chromosome here the reference of mitotic chromosome is taken as we can see this chromosome structure evidently during mitosis especially during the metaphase of the mitosis where you can see the arms of the chromosome and the centromere so by knowing this nucleosome is the functional unit of chromosome the compaction is required to accommodate dna into the nucleus If you find this video informative, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.